Hey there, in this video we are going to explore symmetric matrices and their connection to positive definiteness. And by the end you'll understand why this concept is absolutely fundamental to machine learning algorithms. So let's start by looking at what makes a matrix symmetric. If we have a general matrix, say a 2x2 two two matrix like the one depicted here, you can notice that the entry in the top right position which is 7, is completely different from the entry in the bottom left, which is 2. And this is typical for most matrices you will encounter. But a symmetric matrix has a special property captured by the equation A equals A transpose, which means that when we flip the matrix across its main diagonal, you get the exact same matrix back. Notice how the entries on the opposite sides of this diagonal are identical. The top middle 2 matches the middle left 2. The top right corner 1 matches the bottom left corner 1. And the middle right 3 matches the bottom middle left 3. It's like the matrix is perfectly mirrored across this diagonal line. Now here is where things get interesting. Symmetric matrices have real eigenvalues, which is a powerful guarantee. Remember that eigenvalues are solutions to the equation a times v equals lambda times v, where lambda is the eigenvalue and v is the eigenvector. For a symmetric matrix, like our simple 2x2 two two example, with 3 on the diagonal and 1 on the off-diagonal positions, the eigenvalues turn out to be lambda 1 equals 4 and lambda 2 equals 2. Both of these numbers are real numbers, not complex, and this is always true for symmetric matrices. And this brings us to the concept of positive defineness. A matrix is called positive definite when the quadratic form x transpose ax is greater than zero for all non-zero vectors x. Equivalently, and often more practically, a matrix is positive definite if and only if all of its eigenvalues are strictly positive. This is where the connection to symmetric matrices becomes crucial, because we need those eigenvalues to be real numbers in the first place, before we can check if they are positive. So let's unpack what this quadratic form actually means. If we take a simple diagonal matrix A, with 2 and 3 on the diagonal, and the vector x with components x and y, then x transpose ax expands to 2x squared plus 3y squared. Notice that this is always positive whenever x or y is just non-zero, because we are adding positive multiples of square terms. Geometrically, you can visualize this quadratic form as defining a ball or parabolic shape in space. When you plot the level curves of x transpose ax equals c for various constants c, we get nested ellipses centered at the origin. Every vector from the origin to any point on this ellipses represents a direction in which the quadratic form is positive. And as you move further from the origin in any direction, the value only increases and this bowl-shaped surface always slows apart from the origin, which is the key geometric intuition behind positive definiteness. This concept becomes essential when we think about optimization problems. Consider a typical loss function in machine learning that can be written as 1 half w transpose hw plus b transpose w plus c where H is the Hessian matrix containing all the second partial derivatives of the loss with respect to the weights. If this Hessian matrix is positive definite, then we can guarantee that the loss function is strictly convex, which means there exists a unique minimum and we can find it reliable using gradient-based optimization methods. In machine learning, positive definite matrices show up everywhere. In linear regression, the matrix x transpose x, where x is our data matrix, is positive definite under reasonable conditions, which guarantees that the normal equations have a unique solution. In statistics and probabilistic models, covariance matrices are positive definite by construction, 
ensuring that they represent valid probability distributions. And in neural network training, when the Hessian of the loss function is positive definite near a critical point, we know that this point is a local minimum and training can converge in a stable way. So, let's summarize what we have learned. Symmetric matrices are those that equal their own transpose, creating a mirror symmetry across the main diagonal. They always have real eigenvalues, which is crucial for many applications. A matrix is positive definite when all its eigenvalues are strictly positive, or equivalently, when the quadratic form is always positive for non-zero vectors. This property ensures that optimization problems are convex, guaranteeing that gradient descent and related algorithms will find a global minimum. And this entire framework is crucial through machine learning, from linear regression to deep learning, because positive definiteness gives us the guarantee of convergence that makes these algorithms work reliably in practice. And that basically wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this explanation helpful, give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to stay up to date with everything I post here. See you in the next one. Bye bye.